Well, good Tuesday afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. Obviously, I'm Fuzzy. How y'all today? Hope everything's going good with you. So, uh, not an work night. I was late getting off work this morning. So the sleep got cut down a little bit. But that's okay. Slept pretty good today. And uh, when I got here this morning, there was a box waiting out front. So that's always a good thing. And, uh, you know, always a good thing. So uh, here's what we got going for today. So I got this uh, really neat. Let me put it back in the box here and I'll show you the whole kit. I had bought this to, to, to use as a PIF for pass along. Ain't going to happen. This one's staying with Fuzzy. So I haven't shined the box up or anything, but it's just really nice. Uh, well, that's the first phone call of the uh, shave. We'll get back to it. I got this really nice case. And uh, when you open it up, the latch is nice and tight. That doesn't always happen on these. You open it up, and there's a beautiful Jim 1912. It's got the blade case in there, blade box, whatever you want to call it. Everything's nice. It is missing the... Uh, sticker up top there the, the gym thing but uh, other than that beautiful set and even that doesn't take away from the beauty just really 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 nice so like I said originally this was going to be sent on down the line don't think it's going to happen you know, it's a very nice it's got the shorter handle there and, it, and everything's really nice and I got it cleaned up and I have one more treat blade in this magazine vault whatever you want to call it so we're going to put a brand new treat blade in for our brand new razor. Everything lines up nice. No worries at all. It's got nice blade behind those nice big blade stops there on the front. So everything's good. But look at the reflection there. Hey, how you doing? You can see me in the reflection. Uh-huh. How you like it? I like it. I like it with peas and carrots. And it's Tuesday. Let's do the back. I don't remember if I used the stick last time or if I used the bowl soap or if I used the cream today anyway we're using the stick just because so also so i've told people before uh y'all have heard me say that i keep emergency kits around for different things i've got one i keep in the truck i've got one i keep i've got a bug out bag yada 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 well part of the thing down in this part of the world is hurricanes and when hurricanes come through the storms come through in the summer you lose electricity sometimes so what i have and I just dug it out to see if everything was still working, is this little radio. And the neat thing about these little radios is that on the back of it, it's got a crank. And it doesn't have batteries to change. You crank it up. And you crank it for a while, and it plays for a while. And then you can get your information, your emergency information and stuff, for just the music playing in the background. It's also got a little LED light. And somewhere on here, there it is, it's got a little alarm in case you're in distress and need help so anyway these are really neat this is actually probably a cheaper model i don't remember i've had it for some time i don't remember what i paid for it or anything but uh they make several others they make some that have uh the weather band on them this is particular one is just an amf but they make some that have the weather band and all that kind of stuff so that you can keep up with the weather alerts as you're rolling along which is uh, not a bad thing down in this part of the world you know it's kind of like in the tornado part of the world, you keep up with what's going on when the tornadoes are around. Well, down here, you know, obviously it's the same thing. Summertime when the thunderstorms are rolling around and tornadoes get cut loose. And you never know what's going to happen, so it's good to be in touch a little bit. Definitely is. All right. Uncle Fuzzy's little added extra of the day. And that'd be a fun little part for a newspaper, wouldn't it, Uncle Fuzzy? Add a little extra for today. Uh, doesn't take much to get enough tobacco on the shave with. That's a big shave stick. Look at that. Inside my hand there. That's a pretty good size shave stick there. Most of them are a lot smaller. This gives you a lot of surface area to work with. So it doesn't take as much effort, I think. All right, put the top back on that and put it back up on the old ship. So we're going to go back, and I know I used this brush not too terribly long ago, but there's a reason I use this brush a lot. I really like this brush. This is a uh, this is an EverReady 650 PB that's been re-knotted with uh, just a cheap Chinese 
uh, finest from I think Virginia Sheen was the vendor and uh, it's just a really nice brush it's got a really good balance between backbone and softness so I've said that six million times before but you know folks some people jump in the middle and watch videos and they may not have heard me say stuff before so you folks that watch fairly often appreciate you thank you unfortunately you're going to end up hearing things over and over and over again I know it's terrible it's horrible. Old guy sitting there putting soap on his face up on his soapbox. Sitting there spouting nonsense. But you keep watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. And again, thank you to the folks who have uh, watched the videos and joined up over at Toast. What's Toast you say? Well... Answer that question. Toast is the original safety com. That's all one word. The original safety two, the number two dot com. And there's a forum, a web forum that is strictly single edge and injector razors. We don't do double edge. We don't do single edges that are not safety razors. Safety. That's the that's the key word. We don't do cart garbage. We especially don't do cart garbage. Okay, I want to make that point. Put a little more water in the tobacco. Just because we can. So, uh, I appreciate the folks that have watched the video and popped over to Toast. And you don't even have to post. You know you're there, you're reading the information. There's a lot of information. Toast is actually two sites. There's an original site that's... Uh, read only and there's another text so that's a phone call and a text if anybody's keeping score all right hopefully the radio is turned down low enough that i don't get tagged on youtube for uh you know copyright infringements or some ignorant stuff like that so the the 1912 comes in a variety of handle sizes and types and the neat thing about it is they all work great. Just cause this one's got a shorter handle doesn't mean it's any harder to use or it shows any different from a longer handled version. Any little differences your technique adjusts to. This thing is just gorgeous. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I gotta remember to uh, jump on the shaved end tonight and let the gentleman over there know that I uh, got it in and how pretty it is because he uh, sold it to me at a really good price but unfortunately the person this was going to go to who has no idea it was going to go to him anyway is not going to get it because this one's going to stay with fuzzy like I need another 1912 set but need need has nothing to do with it this is strictly want. I understand that. And eventually, I'll probably end up passing on. That's what always happens. That's what always happens. Well, here we're going to go back with another layer of lather. Remember, we're not icing cupcakes here. A little paint some? Okay, paint some. It don't matter. I don't care. I just don't buy into the whole don't do the swirly with the badger brushes or whatever. I've never had it bother a brush. I know that there's a big brush maker that says that or whatever, but a lot of people say a lot of things. A lot of people say a lot of things. Silly people. Alright. I think we did kind of did an across the grain on our first on our first pass there come to think of it not that I was thinking about it I was just shaving so when you're shaving you can change things up I think that's what I did maybe I think maybe I went across the grain already under my neck here that's okay guess what my face is not gonna fall off it is okay to change things up only thing I don't do, as we all know, is I don't do against the grain. I see no point in it. I can go against the grain. I can get that BBS. I can do all that a couple hours later. 
I'm back feeling like I got a piece of sandpaper. Which I don't mind. I like the sandpaper feel. But, uh, so, I'm more interested in a damn fine shave. As opposed to spending the extra time and risking the irritation by getting closer. And anyone looking at me, when I get in uniform and I go to work, anybody looking at me is not going to be able to tell if I took the extra time for a little short term BBS or if I did my normal shave and got a really good, comfortable, dang fine shave for the night. 99% of my shaves are high class dang fine shaves. They're on the top end of that, which is great. Sometimes I'll run a blade a little too long and it won't be quite that. But anyway, it happens. It kind of stuff happens. All right. Get the, everything cleaned up here out of my ear and everything. We'll have a look before we put the witch hazel on. Look at there. Ooh, that's a good shave. The 1912 is just so awesome. Just an awesome razor, I'm telling you. Tobacco is such a high quality soap. Just a big old bucket of German goodness. That's what it smells like to me. Everyone was trying to, does it smell like tobacco? Yeah, you know, it's a floral scent to me. So I'm assuming that's tobacco flower. I don't know, all the tobacco scents I have are a floral scent. Maybe someone's got a leaf. I've said before, I've asked for recommendations. Sorry folks, I never picked up any of them. I need to. Something that's got more of a tobacco leaf type smell. Preferably after it's been cured and rolled or rolled and cured or however. That would be interesting. Alright. And there's another phone call. Two phone calls and a text if you keep in score. Everything nice and cleaned up. I don't need near about this many strokes on my face, but with the witch hazel, it's easy to do. And, you know, there you go. Boy, that's nice. Nice, comfortable shade to start the night off. Good, high quality. I like it. Can't give me my phone, obviously. Send a text. You know what I don't like. I know there's a lot of things I don't like. Y'all could probably start a list. Add this to your list. Not much I'm talking on the phone, believe it or not. I don't hear really well. I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like people. I don't like talking on the phone. You know, whatever. But I send a text. I can read text. I, I read quite well. I send a text and I immediately get a phone call back. It just drives me nuts. I don't know if it bothers anybody else out there, but I was a real big fan of text when it came out because it's great to just sit there and be able to read and text backwards and forwards. I'm a text fiend. I don't know how many texts I send a month, but it's a bunch. But, uh, yeah, my brother's just the opposite. He first talked on the phone instead of text. He's a little older than me. And uh, I just, I like the text more than I like phone call. So anyway, there you go. Another little fuzzy secret there, now you know. So there we go. We have gotten a really, I can't tell you how good, how smooth the cheeks are. And you come down and not as smooth down on the neck, but it's close, folks. I'm telling you, it's really, really close. Treat blade and a uh, nice little 1912 there. And looky there, ain't that nice. There's a comparison to my, the one I call my favorite. Ain't it nice? It is indeed nice. All right, well look, y'all have a great day. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go ahead and uh, get ready for work and go out and make another night of it. Rolling right along, see if, uh, see if everybody shows up in the morning. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Never know what's gonna go on, but I'll be there. Everything will be great. We'll see y'all later, and remember, happy shades to you.